Welcome back, I'm Gloria. We're out here doing laundry today. Um, this has nothing to do with artwork today. Uh, we actually picked up a spin dryer, one of the Panda spin dryers, so we're gonna kind of tweak up how we do our laundry. Unfortunately, it got here right after I did all the shirts and shorts when I already used a mop rigger, but here's what we got. So we have the Panda spin dryer. Uh, they didn't pay me for to do this. I bought this on my own. Just trying to find a quicker way to do some laundry. Since we don't boondock, um, we have power, free power, so we can go ahead and spin this stuff, cut down on our drying time. Unfortunately, it came, like I said, after I had already done all those all that laundry over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this loaded up, and I just wanna show you real quick how it works. Uh, we actually, instead of trying to do it inside, I'm gonna do it outside, because this way I can just go ahead and have it run right off into the gravel all the water because here's the runoff so basically you load it in here put your plastic piece whatever you want to call this on top and then close it lock it push all the way on oh i didn't plug it in yet uh, but it does work so once you click to on it'll start spinning and the water will come out down there so let me get this loaded up and i will give you a show Okay, we got everything loaded in. Basically what you want to do is put your heavier items at the bottom and then layer them up. Try not to ball them up and don't leave any gaps because otherwise the gaps will create air pockets that make it all out of balance and then it won't ring out as well either. Um, got it plugged in. We're trying it out outside. Um, make sure you put the plastic piece in the top. That keeps it from bouncing around I guess or something. And then I didn't put a a bowl or anything under the drain because we're outside. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. So hang on. Okay. And since we're on position, let's see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't go too out of balance, but you can see that's a good amount of water down there. So it's gonna actually spin for five minutes on its own. It's built that, or it has a built-in timer. I'm actually glad I didn't do this inside. That is a lot, a lot of water coming out. That's from socks, underwear, and one pair of shorts. And what I did was just kind of hand wring them before I threw them in here. I didn't use my mop wringer this time. So I'm gonna let this run for five minutes and then I'll show you what happens uh, when they get out of there. Where we are after here's where we are after a couple minutes maybe two or three minutes two minutes it's still coming out pretty good um, i'll have to find a way to keep it from splashing but it's really quiet it's running really well i'm kind of happy so far we'll see how it goes but we have power this does take 110 um, so you definitely want to have it in a grounded gfi make sure you have enough power for it i didn't want to do it inside with the ac running said I want to keep it cool in there because it's still pretty hot out here today. But we'll keep going and I'll show you how it looks at the end. Okay, it beeped and the timer went off. Let's go ahead and turn it off. It does say to unplug it before you do anything, so give me one second. I think I'm going to do that. If I can, one-handed, there we go. And where we're staying, we actually have power this winter. So let us get that. Okay, should go out of place there. Sorry about that. And let's see what we got in here. There is a button to go ahead and open it. Let's see what we got here. Holy cow, sock is like almost all the way dry. It's gonna take just a few minutes to dry when I hang them up. Let's get the plastic piece in. Make sure it's under the metal lip. Close that. Get it plugged in. Okay. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we don't go out of balance. So far. 
towel is definitely shaped this thing a little bit. But it's not out of balance. But so far, so good. I'm gonna go ahead. Look at all that water. That is crazy. I'm gonna let this run its five minutes. And then I'll probably shift them around and try it like do it a second time. That is just a crazy amount of water. So that's two shower towels and a hand towel. So we'll just run and we'll come back. And turn it off. Give it a chance to stop. I'm going to unplug it because I'm neurotic that way. And they also suggest to. Yeah. Let's open this up and take a look. Holy cow. These are like almost dry. I thought I was going to have to run it a second time, but this is crazy. You guys saw all the water coming out. This is nuts. This is so dry. I highly recommend this for towels as well. Um, I have a couple more to do. Two more and a hand towel. I don't need to do a second spin on these, I don't think. And I'm going to set them on the rack out here, and hopefully they don't take forever to dry. But, uh... This was working out really, really good. I'm really surprised. Well, that's my experience with the spin dryer. I really think it's a great investment. If you have room for it, you can do it. I recommend it. It will save you a lot of money. Definitely keep you out of the laundromat a little bit more, whether you dry things out here, you know, outside, or if you actually wash, spin them, and then use the laundromat for just to dry. Um, clothes, towels, it's all worked out really well. I may try doing sheets, but I'm not sure I can handle or if they, the buckets that I use are big enough to, for those. But we'll give it, if I give it a shot, I'll let you know and, and put it up here for you. So I hope you got something out of it. I hope it gives you some ideas if, if this will work for you. Please go ahead and hit like and subscribe. We do have more videos coming. They're just taking a little longer because of the pandemic. We're pretty much locked down right now because I really do enjoy doing these. I'm just totally getting the hang of it and I'd like you to stop by and see if there's some tips here that'll help you get on the road, get away from the cubicle jobs, maybe do, you know, focus on your creative side. If that's what you're looking for, just be able to get out there and roam around and see things before it's too late. Actually, thanks.